Hello, good morning viewers. In our previous lesson, we have seen how to express numbers as percentages. So in this tutorial, we shall see how to find a particular percentage of other numbers. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. Remember, a percentage is a special fraction where the denominator is equal to 100. So percent means out of 100. So suppose we want to find X percent. Percent is donated by this of Y. You know, X percent can be written as a fraction, which is X over 100. And of in arithmetic is multiplication times Y. If you multiply this together, it will be x times y divided by 100, which is x, y over 100. So first we want to find 6% of 300. This means that 6 out of every 100 here, but we have 300 here. This 300 can be written as 100, plus 100 plus 100 all this equal to 300 so every 100 will contain a bundle of 6 so we have 6 here we have 6 here we have 6 here collectively we have 18 this means that 6% of 300 is equal to 18 And somebody might ask, what about if this value here is not 300 exactly? For instance, 350. If you have 350, remember, this can also be written as 100 plus 100 plus 100. And the last value is 50. Every 100 will contain 6. So we have 6 here, we have 6 here, we have 6 here. But this is 50. 50 is half of 100. Every 100 contains 6. If 100 contains 6, definitely 50 will contain 3. So we have 3 here. If you add all of this together, you shall get 21. This means that 6% of 350 is equal to 21. And another question that some student might ask, what about if this 50 is not a factor of 100? The general form is this, just multiply directly. So now let us look onto the general form. 6% of 300 can be expressed in this form. 6% meaning 6 out of 100 of its multiplication we have 300 just like this we multiply x by y 6 times 300 is going to be 1800 divide by 100 these two zeros will take care of these two zeros and finally we have 18 this means that 6% of 300 is eaten. So whatever percentage of any number you ask to find, just express that percentage in a fraction and multiply by that required number. And sometimes you may be asked to find this 300 where these two are given. So now let us see how to find this 300. So this is the question. It says 6% of what? is 18. 6% can be written as 6 over 100 of its multiplication. What is unknown, so we can represent it with y. And this is equal to 18. We want to find this value here. So the best way to find this y is to multiply the left and the right side of this equation by the reciprocal of 6 over 100. So we can multiply here by 100 
over 6. To do justice, we have to perform the same multiplication to the right times 100 over 6. This will cancel this and this will cancel this, leaving only y. 18 times 100 is 1,800. Divide by 6. And y will now be equal to this divided by 6 is 300. So 6% of 300 is 18. So what about if we're given this and this and we ask to find this? So this is the question, what percentage of 300 is 18? What? We don't know, so we can represent it with x percent of 300 equals 18. This can be written as x over 100 of its multiplication 300. This is equal to 18. From here, you can perform your simplification. These two zeros can cancel these ones. So we only have 3x if you multiply this by this. And this is equal to 18. To find x, we divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides by 3. This will cancel this. And finally, x will be equal to uh, 6. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So the required percentage is 6%. It means that 6% of 300 is 18. So this is just the introduction. In our next class, we shall see some word problems that are related to percentages. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.